What's going on everyone, Golden Take the History coming to you from my car with some extremely exciting news. So scintillating, so anticipating that I couldn't hold back the anticipation to find a better venue to record this video other than the Target parking lot behind me. We have some news. We are going to be traveling here in Golden Ticket to History. We are going to be going out of state for the first time on this channel, and I'm taking you all along with me. There was almost a chance last year where I had to go out of state for some personal reasons, and there was potentially some filming locations I was going to do. There was some famous graves I was going to do. But there was just too much going on and the personal nature of that trip just made it impossible for me to be able to do anything besides deal with those with those events. However, moving forward this year though, I have some plans to go to the Northeast United States to go to two different locations. One location in about eight weeks from now, the other location towards uh, Christmas time. And I'm Super excited to take you all along with me. We're going to be going to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and I'm hoping to do some filming locations, some movie locations, some historical locations, famous places, haunted places, political locations. I have so many ideas in my, in my mind what I want to do. I'm going to be spending an entire almost week in Washington, D.C. I'm going to be spending four days in Washington, D.C., so I'm going to have a lot of time to visit a lot of different places. So I want to know where would you like to see on this channel? I have a lot of ideas on my own and putting together my travel plans currently. But what would you like to see on this channel? Is there certain graves you'd like to see in the Washington DC area? Is there certain buildings or structures you'd like to see? Is there historical places? Is there true crime locations? Is there haunted locations or anything beyond just that? What would you like to see from the nation's capital? Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see documented on this channel. I have a lot of plans for this, for this trip. I'm hoping to get a lot of locations out of the way. I'm hoping to try to get the most I can out of the four days that I'm there. I have some other things going on while I'm there. It's going to hinder some of the time. So I don't have four complete days, but I definitely do have a sizable amount of time to take and visit a decent amount. And I want to hear some of the input. You know, this channel, you know, it's becoming a community. Whereas, you know, your input is valuable. So definitely let me know in the comments what you would like to see in Washington, D.C. For the trip around Christmas time, I'm going to be a good chance going to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, where Declaration of Independence was signed, where the Continental Congress got together, where so many movies, so many locations, so many historical locations, haunted locations, true crime locations, you name it, took place in Philadelphia. There's also a lot of famous final resting places there as well that I would love to have the opportunity to visit. So let me know down in the comments what you would like to see while I'm in Washington DC so that I can try to take you guys along with it. You know, not everyone has the opportunity to go different places. You know, I've talked about it in the past before. Sometimes people have financial limitations. Sometimes people have logistics, uh, logistical lim limitations. Sometimes people have physical limitations. You know, in some cases, someone just may not be able to physically go to certain places and see certain things. For example, there's a video that's been long overdue on this channel I've been wanting to do is to make my way back to the St. Augustine Lighthouse in St. Augustine, Florida. And there's a couple different reasons behind that. One of it's the historical significance of the structure. Part of it's the supernatural significance of the structure. And the third reason, which is equally as important, is the real realization that I had is that there's a lot of individuals who do not have the physical, logistical, or financial capabilities of being able to go into that tower and to climb up all those steps, get up to the top, and look out amongst the ancient city. And part of that epiphany came with I have some personal friends who have some of these physical limitations. And to know that 
by me being able to go up there and taking pictures, taking videos, I can show them the experience, I can give them the perspective that I had from being up there that they wouldn't have otherwise. And even though they're not the ones physically going up there and there is that slight bit of first person perspective that's lacking, it's as close as they're gonna get and it's better than what they currently have. So a lot of times, you know, some of the places I go, that's kind of the goal in mind. A lot of times is to take you guys along with me so that those of you who may not have the opportunity to see these locations, these famous graves, these historical places, or never even knew about certain stories, to have that opportunity to see these things. This video is going along way too long. You know, this is definitely a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I'm just so excited about some of the future plans for this channel and to be able to take you all along with me on this trip. As always, continue to look for the history and film. I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next video. I have a lot of things in store the next couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months that I have anticipated for a while. So I'm holding in suspense a little bit longer, but I'm gonna be sharing these resources with you very soon. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great week, everyone. Look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a great one, everyone.